There's the hotel in Birmingham, Michigan when his team goes to Detroit. There are restaurants throughout the NBA traveling show and friends and secret places. JJ Reddick spends a little more time with all of them now, stands there as quiet and absorbent as possible. He is closer to the end than the beginning. Most NBA players are. Many don't realize it. Reddick does. It helps when you realize it at age 33, when you're ahead of the game, that you're leaving behind. This summer it hit me, Reddick said Tuesday. I'm in the last part of my career. Maybe it's one more year, maybe five. I'd been in LA for four years, and the last year and a half or so with the Clippers had been challenging. This year I decided I was going to live more in the moment. The thought comes into my head every now and then, I'm actually still doing this. Reddick has come to the Philadelphia 76ers as a free agent to spend his 12th NBA season. Ironically, he probably finds himself closer to an NBA title, or at least a substantive playoff season, than he was with the Clippers. He plays on the same floor as Joel Embiid, the center with the fragile feet, but with a ceiling that stretches to Mars. He plays next to Ben Simmons, the early front runner for Rookie of the Year, a player who defies categorization and most oppositional plans. Mark Elfaltz was the top pick in this year's draft. He's hurt, but the undrafted Robert Covington continues to prove himself. It's as much his team as anybody else's, said coach Brent Brown, after Covington's 31 points lit up the Clippers Monday night. Philadelphia took aim at the Lakers on Wednesday night. The Sixers have won only 75 games in the past four seasons but have partaken of basketball socialism to get high draft picks. This is a faulty formula, call the Sacramento Kings for details, but it might work here just because of the nature of the talent. Ben is much further along than most people anticipated, Reddick said. Far ahead of most people's expectations. Joe, Embiid, is as good as advertised. We've shown resiliency. We've won at the Clippers, at Houston, and at Utah, and there were some other games we could have won. For me, it's an opportunity to catch on with a team on the rise. And it's an opportunity for the Sixers to learn from Reddick, to learn how to fight an 82 game schedule to a standstill. There are invisible walls waiting for young teams with promising Novembers. I just try to go about being a pro, Reddick said. You can talk all you want. Yo, you have to show them at some point. There's communication, and the important part comes before the game, after the game, at halftime, on the court. That's something I learned when I was with Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan.
and there probably wasn't a ton of it going on here with the Sixers. But Redick is no mere sounding board. He is either starting or playing starters minutes with the Sixers, averaging 15.1 points. He is shooting 38.9% on three-pointers, a tad short of his career 41.3 figure, which ranks sixth among active players. That touch convinced Orlando to pick Redick 11th in the first round of the 2002 draft out of Duke. He played 15 minutes per game during his rookie season, 8.4 the next dot sometime in that second year I realized that to be successful, I was going to have to go past the skill part of it, Redick said. I needed to get better athletically, but I also had to get better with the mind, the preparation, learning the tricks of the trade. He used pilates to develop explosiveness, and he got noticeably stronger. Clippers coach Doc Rivers cited Reddick's energy this week. I've learned to push myself and when to pull back," Redick said. "I feel like I'm really in tune with my body now." We have an ongoing dialogue," he said. "He became a rotation player in his third year and started 22 games in his sixth. Few players are that patient or that willing to escape their pigeonholes to make themselves essential. I've exceeded my expectations for sure, he said. I remember my junior year at Duke. I took Italian because I figured I might be playing in Europe. Not at all, he said. But I did make A's. He might remember that sunset is the same in both languages and, in basketball, can be prolonged.